lantern block color technique. We got our lovely model Dre back. And the inspiration for this, obviously, is gonna be the jack-o'-lantern. So we're gonna be doing three little sections with block coloring, two triangles for the eyes, and then a nice little smiley mouth. It's a little bit askew. It's not gonna be, when you look at it straight on, the position of the face. So the first eye is gonna be going on the small side of the part, close enough to the hairline and close enough to the part that it's still gonna be hidden by a hair falling over it but it's still gonna pop out as she moves her head with that cool haircut. So you can see we're working nice and neat, just clipping that hair out of the way. I wanted to come up with something that was gonna be nice and quick. You know, not everything needs to be a technique that's gonna take you an extra hour on your guests. This is something that you feasibly could find time to do, no matter what they're in the book for. So we've got that first triangle sectioned out. Here I'm taking just a little bit of a barrier cream to, uh, just wipe onto the hair so that I can lay a foil that will stick on her hair so that I have something to work on, like a platform. Because I didn't want to go through and do necessarily back-to-back -back foils on this because like I said, I wanted to show that we could do something just real quick. You just lay that out. So we got that foil stuck. Getting ready to start working through the first section. But, oh, then I remembered. You're gonna want to put a little bit of lightener down on that foil first because since we're not doing any kind of foil, um, actual closed packet foils, we're just gonna be laying the hair down on this. I want lightener on both sides of each of those sections. So that lightener down there on that foil is gonna get the bottom side of this first section that I drop down, and then I'll brush fresh lightener on top of that. The lightener we're working with today, I chose to use Paul Mitchell's dual purpose lightener with actually a 40 volume because again, like I said, I wanted this to be quickly done. I wanted it to be something that, you know, you didn't have to babysit. And like I said, it wasn't gonna take an extra half hour to 45 minutes to do. So working with that 40 volume is gonna give me that power to get just enough lift to really see a change in the hair quickly. As we're working through with these sections, making sure that the sections are nice and thin because we want a nice even lift here. It's a fun technique, but you still want it to be done thoroughly and properly. So taking those thinner sections is gonna make sure that there's enough lightener that's gonna be able to penetrate through each of those sections. And as you notice, I'm not painting all the way down to her scalp. I'm just kind of feathering it up towards the end there because it is close to her part and I wanna make sure that as her hair moves, you don't see a hard line of demarcation where this block color starts. Feathering it on like that is gonna one, make it so it grows out a little bit nicer, and two, make it just sort of hide where it begins and blend into her haircut a little bit better. So just making sure there's a really nice saturation through all of that because, you know, think about it, whatever hair doesn't have lightener on it isn't gonna lighten. Makes sense, right? So taking another foil, just laying that over the top so that I don't have to worry about any hair that I don't want lightened falling into that, just to sort of separate it from the rest. Making a nice, neat little, actually it ends up looking like a cute little house. Make a nice little house for this uh, block color technique to lay in. Letting the hair down like that kind of gives you a little idea about where this new section is gonna be seen. Now we're on the heavy side of the part and I wanted to come far enough back on the head so that I can put the cute little smile of the jack-o'-lantern in through her fringe around her face so she gets that fun pop of color in the front. So this is a little bit further back on her head. You can actually see the jack-o'-lantern shape quite nicely when you look over the top. So again, Taking a similar size triangle, that's what I chose to do. You can definitely choose to uh, change the shape or the angle of these these triangles if you, you know, feel like the hair would look better with it. By all means, this is this is a technique-driven video more so than this is the end result. This is how it needs to look. I have lots of guests that don't necessarily want bright shocks of color in their hair, so. 
they might like this technique if you know it's just a level or two lighter that I'm doing it. Or if they're a brunette and they just want to throw a little pop of color, then you know it's a perfect season to talk about. Oh, we know it's Halloween. Saw this cool video, and it's the smile of a jack o' lantern. Yeah, you, know, you can pull up a picture of this from YouTube or wherever, and they can see. All right, that's kind of neat. It just sort of just breaks up their one solid base color that they're so used to getting. You know, you can do it with a color that's just a little lighter than their base, or you can do something that's going to accent the base really nicely, and it just gets them you know, having another service in the salon. It gets them trying new things because it's nothing extremely committal. And you'll see with the, uh, the finished result exactly what I'm talking about. So again, as you can see, we use the barrier cream to get that foil to adhere to the hair so that we have a base for the foil to stick onto. And again, really getting in there with lots of product, making sure that I'm gonna get a nice even lift throughout this whole panel that we're lightening. Making sure to consistently bring down nice fine sections. See how you can almost see through that one? That's my guarantee that that whole section is gonna lighten. Working up the triangle again, making sure it, you feather it at the top so that there's no real hard, hard lines. just working down through the ends. All right, as we're finishing up this section here, again, just taking another Foil just to sort of segregate this from the rest of the hair so nothing falls in and gets lightened that we don't want lightened. And there we've got our cute little house for our, uh, our panel to live in. Drop this next section and then plan out where we're gonna put the, the happy little smile of this jack-o'-lantern. I wanna work with the round of the head because if you put a round shape on the round of the head, then it's just gonna fall really nicely with that, that beautiful face frame that Matt cut in there. It's just gonna follow the cool lines and have that really great textured end, so. If you look at the head cam view, you can definitely see that that's more of a rounded line that goes right around through the top of her head. And now I'm gonna have the actual two points at the corners of the smile. And I chose to bring it really, really close to the hairline without actually going all the way through because I just like the look of having that, that section of color with both her base on top of and below it because it's just gonna add even more excitement as she moves her head. and It's just gonna be colors coming at you from all directions. And that's what's fun about block color techniques like this, is it, it can be a little bit customized. If you wanted to bring that all the way down to the hairline so that when she pulls her hair back, you just see that straight up piece of the smile from the jack-o'-lantern, cool, go with it. Send me pictures, I wanna see. Adding a little bit of that barrier cream. Now to get this one, I went in here and trying to decide how we should put that foil so that we can still work neatly because even though you're doing something a little bit more fun, you still want to be neat and clean so that you know for a fact that you're going to get a really nice, predictable result. So I've got the one piece off on this side and now I'm adding a second one over here so that I can split up that nice rounded shape. Then don't forget that little bit of lightener on the foil. that added insurance that everything is getting lightened perfectly. Taking that first section, still working like we were with the triangles. Nice little horizontal sections, just bringing them straight down.
feathering on lots of the lightener. Again, I can't reiterate it enough, making sure that you get nice saturation all the way through. If you need to move the hair around a little bit just for a guarantee, by all means, go for it. And I'm just gonna keep working in these horizontal sections until I've taken the entire side of that smile. Bringing it down and feathering on more product. All right, and as we move into the other side of the smile now, we're getting ready to bring down this last little bit so that we can get our, uh, our block color technique underway. What's cool, I, what I like about doing any kind of block color like this is, again, like I said, it's not necessarily something that's gonna be extremely drastic for the guests, but it's really great because it gives them something new to try. A lot of people are willing to try a little something new so long as it's nothing too crazy. And this is great because this offers you another way to give them that little something extra. Because I was using the Jack Lantern as an inspiration, our final color, I wanted to make it a really bright, fiery yellow. But if you wanted it to look, you know, a little bit closer to her base, that could have worked as well. It would have just broken it up a little bit in a really fun, cool way that, you know, when their friends say, oh, you did something different with your hair, they'll get excited about it and say, yeah, it was this jack-o'-lantern thing that my hairdresser was talking about. It's kind of cool though, I sort of like it. And then that's gonna get them talking about you, which is gonna get more of their friends in your chair. Because guests love hairdressers that love to have a little bit of fun. And I think this is a really cool, easy, fast, efficient way to have that little bit of fun. All right, so we're finishing her up here. Because we went with the 40 volume lightener, she really didn't need to process for more than maybe 10 minutes. So it really would not have added much time to a salon visit. You know, if she was in for just a haircut or if even she was in for, you know, a, a root touch up or something. Now we've given her a little something special that'll really make her remember us and talk about us when she's out there doing her holiday parties. Bringing that hair down just so I can get a little visual of what I think it's gonna look like. See, quick, simple, eyes and a smile. There's your finished result. Got that nice flame yellow through there. You can see how it goes through the bangs. That little piece over on the one side that sort of peeks out as her hair moves. That other eye in the back. And a really nice flow. So happy Halloween. Come check us out at freesaloneducation.com. Thanks guys.